Hello YouTubers, this is an update to a video that I made two years ago regarding my homemade evaporative cooler. I just wanted to show you how it's running two years later. A couple of you guys have been asking about that, so here is the video. Uh, this is the same exact cooler I had two years ago, and the main modification I made to it was I added this Lego air director to it, and so I can have the air directed wherever I want while I'm sitting here at the computer. And so now I'm going to go ahead and show you the inside two years later. First thing is the fan is still attached to the lid the same as it was before. And no, I have not electrocuted myself two years later. Some of you guys are saying that I'm going to electrocute myself because it's a hazard. I just don't see that happening. It's attached to the lid just like that. Nothing's happened. All the cords are above. And there's no chance of that falling into the water. There's like a two inch clearance of that anyway. So first I want to get that out of the way that it's still running perfectly fine two years later. Okay. Uh, I have the same Lego frame as I had before. And you notice that the water in here is a lot cleaner than it was in my original video. The original video was pretty nasty green. I admit that. But that was because of the pads I was using. I was using some green pads and that's what made the water that color. Now I've actually switched over to this blue Duracool pad and I noticed that the cooling effect is about the same as the one I had two years ago and this I'm a lot happier with because it's got the same cooling effect and the water stays a lot cleaner as you can see there. I did try Aspen pads last year but they're just a big mess and it caused the water to be even worse than before, a darker brown color. The cooling was Maybe a little bit better than the Duracool pad, but for what I'm using it for, this is good enough. Okay. Another thing I want to point out is I've added some duct tape on the inside, and this is to help direct the air through the pad instead of having it get sucked around the pad instead. I wanted to have the maximum cooling effects, and so this duct tape here is directing the air so that way everything all goes through the pad itself. I did add another PVC pipe since the one I had two years ago because again there's a lot of corrosion on here and it kind of gets worn out so I did have a new PVC pipe in there as well. The pump is exactly the same that's still going strong as before. I still have this connected to the outlet so I can just turn it on and, and everything all starts up at once. Uh, the pump and fan turn on at the same time. So again this is what it looks like two years later. Some of you guys are also asking how much water do I go through with this one so I want to talk about that for a second. This is the water bottle that I use to fill this up. This is 96 ounces, so a little bit less than a gallon. So I have to fill that bottle up, pour it in here uh, once every two or three hours. Depends on how humid it is outside. If it's a lot drier, like where it is right now in Las Vegas, um, our temperature our humidity is usually below 10% if we're not in the monsoon season. Then I, I go through again uh, one bottle I fill in every three hours, um, two or three hours. So um, basically, if you in terms of gallons, that would be about a gallon every every three hours, approximately. That's a lot less water than what I told you in my original video. Original video uh, that wasn't correct. Um, so yeah, now that's about how much I go through. I have built a second evaporative cooler, which I'll show you. It's this one here. Uh, it, it's using a smaller tub than this one. This one, this storage bin is 18 gallons, and so this one I, think, I believe is 10 gallons. And what I'm using on it is a an old air purifier and ionizer, and I got that from Goodwill. And I took it apart, took out the innards. So here's what it looks like inside. There's a squirrel cage fan there blowing the air out. All the electronics and the wires are all on top here, and so again, there's no chance of that falling into the water. It's bolted here to the front, and I haven't had any problems. This thing's about a year old, and you can see the water inside is is still real clear. I got another fountain pump in there, and that's pumping the air through this another PVC pipe. It's another Lego frame. Legos have really been holding up well. That the same frame. Uh, is the same one that I have inside there that I used two years ago. Okay, these are real durable and they won't don't corrode or anything. I found this is the best material to build the frame that holds everything all in place, the PVC pipe and the Duracool pad. 
So I'm real happy with the way that turned out. This one's used more for if I have to work out in the garage, um, or if they're good also for uh, you go to a barbecue or something outside. You can run this off a of battery; it doesn't use that much power. Uh, and so you kind of a personal air cooler if you're outside. So comes in handy for that. If I'm not using it for any for those purposes, and I have both of them directed to me upstairs uh, for extra cooling effect. Again, what I'm using these for is I've got a an office upstairs that gets blasted by the sun in the afternoon. You can see it's uh, the air, uh, the um, sun's blasting that right now. I do have central air, but this is more of a personal core. I just like to stay extra cool without turning the whole entire house to AC, uh, making that work more. I do keep a window open here, and I have a, a door open in this room because otherwise, if you don't do that, the room will get considerably muggy. Uh, and so you have to make sure you have adequate airflow. So this again is better for dry environments. And so I live here in Las Vegas, definitely a desert here, so it's plenty dry. And so that's that's pretty much it. That just wanted to give you guys an update. Two years later, these are both working perfectly good, and hope to get many more years of use out of this. That's the end of my video. Thanks for watching.